What is happening guys, Jay here, happy new year and today we have another uh, waifu anime figure review. This time I'm reviewing my first ever Ban Presto um, figure, which is none other than Chizuru Mizuhara, the main heroine from the hit series Rent a Girlfriend. Now I'm a bit late to watching Rent a Girlfriend if you will, so I, w I really had a hard time finding myself a decent Chizuru Mizuhara figure to add to my collection. There's a Taito Korfu one, but I, I don't really like it. It's a little too etchy for me, her um, outfit there. And I really I wanted something more about her being a rent a girlfriend, like sort of a girlfriend mode Chizuru versus one uh, where she's a little too, um, I guess, too sort of sexy. So I think this one right here by Ban Presto is a good representation of Chizuru in my opinion and a really good price point as well considering Chizuru still doesn't have a pop-up parade line which I hope she actually will eventually. So for those unaware, uh, Ban Presto is licensed and manufactured under Bandai. So as you can see this is the box of Bandai and um, one thing I like about Ban Presto so far considering this is my figure is that Besides having a good price point, it also has a decent sort of uh, size and design for the figure. I really like the sizing of Chizuru. Later, I will show you guys how the figure stacks up versus Papa Parade, Good Smile Company, and Corful under Taito. But yeah, it's really, really nice. Uh, they also have the best packaging among those lines, in my opinion. So as you can see here, really nice print. There's that. Kano uh, Jokarishimas. It's purely Japanese, of course. There's the Bandai... Um, logo there's the band presto logo and yeah really really nice so this one right here this is not the first chizuru figure this is the, the um, exhibition version so yeah a different outfit for chizuru versus the most classic one the pink one that's kind of hard to find and if you if you ever find one i think the price is really high already because it's i think out of print all right now let's get started with the review um First things first, uh, one thing unique about uh, Ban Presto uh, product or figure is that it actually is detachable. It has some parts over here as you can see. So you get this in that box. And by the way, that box is really nice and uh, packaged because there comes another sort of carton box inside this box over here. So that's really, really nice. Nice and secure. And uh, when you get it, it's actually in parts. Not a lot of parts, I mean, I think it's only three parts if I'm not mistaken with the base included. So here's the torso of, fig of Chizuru, kind of disturbing, and you just plug that in. Now, one flaw I saw when I was reviewing this, or when I was when I was watching reviews of this before buying it, is I think this ankle of Chizuru can break easily because this ankle, you can exert a lot of force or pressure on this uh, ankle because there's a peg here that attaches to the base as you can see over here, right there. So. Uh, you basically attach your feet like most uh, figures, but uh, I think this can break so be careful on that And that's a big reason why I'm not showing you guys how I'm gonna attach it and detach it because as you can see here close up There's a sort of slope there which makes the sort of peg kind of difficult to manage as you can see It's not fully plugged in there yet. I don't want to try my luck um, but yeah uh, when when it has a slope like this, an angle like this, when you're attaching pegs, it usually can be a lot more sensitive to breakage. So keep that in mind and be very careful about it. So there you go. Now that's out of the way. Let's talk about the overall quality of the product in terms of design and scope. Personally, I like this so much because it's really accurate to the anime. Let's start with Chizuru's face. So as you can see, let me just focus my camera. There we go. As you can see, the print of her eyes is really nice. Of course, they're basing it off of this artwork. Let me just put it in the background. And as you can see, Chizuru's eyes are really nice printed, nicely printed. And also, I really appreciate the fact that they gave a lot of those small lines on around her face, on her eyes. Really, really nicely detailed. Uh, also, her mouth is really, really nice. Look at how uh, the paint job is done. Her teeth, her, yeah, her mouth, how pink it is. Nice and uh, nice choice of colors. Also, um, I like how the bangs are nicely sculpted over there, as you can see. Very, very nice, those streaks of bangs, really natural looking. And also, her, even her nose and cheeks, like look at the sculpt of her cheeks and her nose. It's really just natural and really looks like Chizuru, so really, really nice. Um, her hair, which is really important for waifus, but Chizuru has a sort of a complicated hair going around here, so there's a sort of knot or braid, if you will going around so that's nicely done as well as you can see there 
the length of her hair is nice and also falls really nice of course these guys can be a little soft so uh, take that into account when you're handling it but yeah overall really great uh, figure of Chizuru really looks like her which is again I keep reiterating in many of my anime figure uh, um, videos it's really important number one priority is that it should look like the character in the anime so uh, her hands her overall posture is really really great in my opinion her hand is she's really on girlfriend mode as you can see nice cob on the fingers nice complexion as well over here she has sort of wristband or something a bracelet you got nice her bust is really nice and sculpted it's really well detailed especially the shading look at that it's not too much like Chizuru is a busty girl like many waifus I guess and she's a busty girl but they did a good job not making this too edgy especially for collectors like me who are not fans of those things but really great wrinkles on her chest like on her shirt really really great wrinkles nice sort of color collar over there for her blue collar and there's a sort of small detail over there as well they even gave her some collarbones a bit of collarbones if you guys can see try to zoom this even closer you can see over there really really great detail and of course her skirt now her skirt in my opinion is really nice also they could have gave it gave, given it a more of a blackish sort of shading i think it's too a little too reddish from especially if you're looking at it in the video it's not this red when you're looking at it from in person but uh, it does that sort of capture light too much which makes it a little too reddish especially if you're trying to take good photos of it but it, you know it's a minor detail otherwise it's really really nice and sculpted as well nice huge ribbon over there <laughs> um, yeah quite dynamic as well as you can see sort of wind flowing that's really important to make the figure look more alive really great actually the teaser looks really great from behind all that really really girly yeah and then her legs uh good job on the legs as well really nice and uh, girly here delicate uh very chizuru ish nothing wrong with the legs whatsoever the knees are perfectly done and sculpted the thighs the calves as well uh the shoes i think the shoes and the feet are the least of what i like about this figure um i don't know i think the feet kind of looks a little too plain i think look at this try to try to zoom this in her her toes her toes aren't that well made they could have given it a slight addition of paint to show off some pedicure maybe and even the sandals i think it's a little tacky blue in my opinion um they could have darkened the sandals of chizuru it's a little too tacky it's a tacky blue color in my opinion like it's sort of too plain of a blue you know what i mean so i'm not a fan of that but yeah it's uh what can you do it's an affordable figure there you go so not so bad and then of course for the culture you have here panty shot chizuru again it's white it's with most figures of the uh figures so yeah there you go now size comparison time so we just take off this box uh, this is my Sakurajima from Corful Taito. As you can see, she will be a lot more taller right there. And even then, Chizuru has a taller base. But still, my Sakurajima is way taller than her. And take note, this is cheaper by a couple of dollars. So there's that to consider. But again, there's only one Chizuru product, I think, under the Corful line. And uh, you might not be a fan of it, like me. Then here is Yui Yui Gahama from Oregairu. Uh, this is the pop-up parade line as you can see so we have here um, three different lines of uh, anime waifu figures as you can see over here in my opinion I think all of them are quite similar into detail I think there are many there are some pop-up parade lines that are superior in terms of um, in terms of design uh, and quality I think if you look at Yui Gahama closely here she is a little a notch a little better in terms of paint job compared to these girls over here like yui's complexion yui's skirt her uh, hair over here the paint of her hair i think it's a tad bit better compared to the other ones over here but at the same time it's really not that noticeable and again this thing is the most expensive so it's a given right 
Uh, but yeah, in terms of size, Taito wins in terms of price point as well. Van Presto is here, sort of like in between. So it's really up to you guys. Uh, I may make a video discussing about all the brands of uh, Japanese mainstream collectibles in terms of figures and model kits down the line. So stay, stay tuned for that. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. Jay here. Again, Happy New Year. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like and subscribe to Omocha Reviews. We'll be making more content, anime, figures, model kits down the line. This is Jay again, and see you next time. Goodbye.